So our heroes get out and finally make it home. Camelot. It's only a model. Shh. Oh, Gary. But just as they're about to hand in the sword together... You deliver it. I... I don't belong in that world. What do you mean you don't belong? You're incredible! You see better than how most people can see! In fact, are you even blind? Come on, Aiden. Like every tree... No! This makes no sense! You don't belong in a world with cozy houses, comfy beds, and guaranteed security, but you do belong in a world of killer plants, giant monsters, and dragons that can fucking eat you. Hello, you're not hard of hearing, just listen to a good opportunity and take advantage of it! You... MORON! Well, of course, the bad guys catch up with Kaylee and steal the sword away from her. Rupert takes the potion out of his cleavage and forges Excalibur onto his arm. Thus, Kaylee is kidnapped and uses leverage for her mother to get the villains into Camelot. Oh, and in answer to your question earlier, honey, about what a damsel in distress is, it's a stupid female who knows how to take care of herself but yet constantly has to be rescued. In other words, YO! Not a word. It's Lady Juliana! Lower the bridge at once! Also let in the dark shadowy figure with the black hood, black horse, and black saddle. I'm sure he can be totally trusted. I'm still the world's greatest knight! Ah, oh, Blade Beak! At your service! So Kaylee escapes, Ruber attacks, and Garrett changes his mind and comes back to help. You've got to ask yourself, do I feel clucky? Well, do ya, punk? Sorry, I'm going for two! Ah, that's it, I'm wrapping it up! They corner Ruber at the stone that Excalibur was pulled out of and trick him into slipping it back in. This causes some magical bullshit that blows him up and, get this, magically heals everybody. Why? How? I refer you to my first nuclear explosion. That's right, everyone is totally and permanently healed, except for the blind guy. Hey, what the hell? Get the fuck his eyes, you bastards! What, was saving everything that could possibly be saved in this movie just not enough for you? Excalibur's a bunghole! So Kaylee and Garrett are finally made knights. All the people rejoice and celebrate by inventing Riverdance. Well done, Hayden. <laughs> I did absolutely nothing. I was a complete waste of animation. Second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. Right. Yeah, I think Arthur summed it up there. Quest for Camelot. A medieval times restaurant has more dignity than this piece of shit. The characters are rip-offs, the story has no connection to the Arthur legend, and, oh yeah, there's a bajillion things that are never explained. In fact, I want an answer. I want an answer right now. And not only do I want an answer, I want answered as the most innocent, perfect being that I can think of, Mary Poppins. That's right. Mary Poppins is going to be my representation of this movie. So tell me, Mary Poppins, how do you explain this bullshit that we just witnessed? First of all, I would like to make one thing quite clear. Huh? I never explain anything. Fuck you, bitch! Oh my god! Oh my god, I just killed Mary Poppins! I just killed my first childhood icon! Good lord, that's what this movie has done to me! Oh, Mary Poppins, I'm so sorry! Mary Poppins! Ah! Birds! Oh no, I killed for two! Okay, I gotta get out of here before I start killing any more innocent Disney characters! I'm not just a critic, I remember it so you don't have to! Oh, hi, Mr. 
Mr. Nostalgia Critic. Oh, Nikki! Oh, no! I'm sorry! Quest for Camelot made me do it! I... I understand. No! The ogre's 